Good morning, Hornet Nation. Welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. A lot to get to as always, so let's get started. Baseball. We begin with Lynchburg College baseball and a great weekend for them. Four games, three and one record. Will Harris, a tremendous weekend. We talked to him about his individual performance and Coach Knowles on what his team is doing well and what they can still improve on. Uh, well, the dedication, I felt like I had to head a little bit more working the off season this year coming into it as I did last year and listening to the coaches another thing I know last year was a little hard hit and didn't want to listen to what coach was saying but this year trying to like you said hunt, hunt fastballs early in the count see a pitch up you can get up and drive and just try to do damage with. Well, I think we're hitting a lot better you know this season with runners in scoring position um, you know so far it's been late uh, which is which isn't bad but you know at, from a coaching standpoint you know you want to be early and often but more consistent. Um, but we've had had some guys step up in big situations, some younger guys coming in and getting big big hits this weekend to kind of either tie the game or you know put us up. And um, from a pitching standpoint, guys have been you know relatively sharp, especially out of the bullpen on Saturday. Um, so when guys aren't having the the start that they want off the mound, that we get guys in to, to really shut down the other team, you know, put zeros up so that we can come back and score runs. Now on to indoor track. Terry Lee Jr., a senior here at Lynchburg College, broke the school record for 600 meters this past weekend. We talked to him about it yesterday. We're running a little bit faster. Um, coach has been like, we did two days starting off, and lately we've been like cutting it down. So we, instead of doing two days, we just went one, but really high intensity. And then now we're just sharpening and getting ready for ODEX this weekend. We just got to continue to push ourselves out here. Uh, like. I like the competition from our teammates that we have out here, uh, like Aaron Wood, he's been stepping up lately. He's actually competing with Evan. Him and Evan are like really close in the 60s, so efforts like that is going to help us uh, compete at Odex this weekend. I don't know, I just see like a target in the back of the jersey and I just go and run after him, honestly. Um, like this weekend in the 600, uh, I had uh, Luke Williams, he, one of my teammates, actually PR'd through the first 400 um, in the 600. Um, led me to a great race so um, it's just going out there and running for my team basically just gives me the, the edge to you know compete so moving on to campus events all three of these events taking place today the Peace Corps will be here today recruiting in Drysdale and Shul Hall please contact mills at lynchburg.edu with any questions that you may have also, it's Black History Month, and there is a presentation called The Crisis in Black Education, presented by the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity, sponsored by the Office of Multicultural Services, from 6 to 8 p.m. in Snyder Chapel. One more thing to get to, a Netflix original documentary will be played. It's called The 13th, and you can catch it in the Hopwood Auditorium at 7 p.m. tonight. One more reminder before we go, yesterday was the last day to submit your idea for the name of the new Hornet mascot. Now, we're not done yet with this process. Starting on Wednesday through February 27th, we will start the voting on the top five names selected by a student committee to see what it comes down to, who will win the contest, and what our new Hornet mascot's name will be. You can check all that information at lynchburgsports.com once it is available. As we do every day here on the Daily Buzz, we let you know what day it is on the National Day calendar. And today is a very, very tasty day. Today is National Sticky Buns Day. And what better to have on Sticky Buns Day than a nice hot cinnamon roll? So I have, as we always do when it comes to food, an example of what you can have on Sticky Buns Day. And today you can have a cinnamon roll, just like I'm going to have a piece with you this morning. Mmm. That is a great way to start your day. Can every day be Sticky Buns Day? We hope that you have a great day. And remember, it's a great day to be a Hornet. And we are One Nation.